What's up? I'm Arjun, and uh, my friend's here with me to do this experiment for the Mentos and the soda. Introduce yourself. Uh, hi. I'm He's Kyle. the cameraman, yeah, and the editor, and the dude who does all the important stuff that I can't do because I'm stupid. All right, so here I have Diet Pepsi, one liter, and one liter of cola. So these react differently, and I will tell you about the chemistry. Either I told you already, and that's earlier in the video, or I'll tell you it soon. But who cares about that? It's boring. So here's the cola, and I'll show you what happens when Mentos react in cola. Let's go back. As you can see, it kind of creates a tiny little boring one foot tall geyser of cola. That's that. No. All right, so this is the Diet Pepsi. Now this reaction goes a little bit differently than regular Pepsi or Coke. You're gonna see that right now. Ah. That was the Diet Pepsi and Mentos reaction. So the chemistry behind it all, the reason that this happens when you put Mentos into soda, is that each candy has thousands of tiny pores on its surface, and those disrupt the polar attractions between water molecules. And this creates thousands of ideal nucleation sites for the gas molecules to congregate. In pretty much a nutshell, the porous surface of the Mentos creates a lot of bubble growth sites, allowing the carbon dioxide bubbles from the soda to rapidly form on the surface of the Mentos. Now, diet sodas produce a bigger reaction than sodas that are not diet because aspartame lowers the surface tension of the liquid much more than sugar or corn syrup will. You can also increase the effect by adding more surfactants to the soda when you add the Mentos, like adding a mixture of dishwater soap and water. Another thing that contributes to the size of the geyser is like how fast the object sinking causes the foaming in the soda. And the faster it sinks, the faster the reaction will happen, and a faster reaction creates a bigger geyser. A slower reaction may release the same amount of foam overall, but it'll be a smaller geyser. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.